Hey guys, Heather Holiday, Remax Elite, your technology and marketing coach, aka your social marketing net. Today is episode three. We are going to enhance your listings in your Remax Lead Street. Here we go. Hey guys, okay, so once you're in your Max Center account, we're gonna go over here to Lead Street. This is going to give us access to all of your listings where we can add some enhancements. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's go over here, enter your profile. You're gonna see up here on the right is your listings. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this and we're gonna find your active listings. So let's go down here. We're gonna click this little pinwheel next to the listing and this is where we can enhance. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with details. First thing we wanna do, and everything does get pulled over from the MLS, so there won't be much to change. However, we wanna make sure you have Miracle Home selected, because we're a Miracle office, and that doesn't automatically happen. Um, we do have to manually do that, as far as I know. Uh, then if it is over the price range to be a Remax Collections, it should by default have this box checked, but you'll see this where right now it's, it's not checkable. But uh, if it is, you wanna make sure that it belongs in the Remax Collections if it meets the criteria. So once you edit anything, we're gonna hit that Save button. So that's about all there is to do here. We also want to go ahead and let's check out Open House. We want to make sure that if you have an open house, add it on Remax.com. We want to add anything here, any comments, that'll display on Remax.com as well as your spa sites. And I do believe that you will receive new marketing packets and information for this open house as long as you add that in there. So make sure if you're doing an open house on your listing or someone else is doing it for you, add it to Remax.com because you can do a search for open houses. Um, let's go back here. The next thing we want to do is, let me go back over to our manager here. We're going to click on this, the home seller report. This is pretty cool and it's nice. I typically would just set it up so it sends it to yourself and you can, you know, analyze the data or you can feel free to pass that on to your seller. And you can, depending on the time that it was, uh, listed you can go back in, in your months so it'll just give us the most re, uh, recent it's going to tell you how many web views it got you can turn on these other um, suggestions these boxes it'll give you the activity as well as anything that's listed nearby and you can change that radius so you can say within uh, five miles one mile i think five miles is the default or we can go up here and we can say let's go back to you know november we're gonna scroll all the way down and hit run report. It'll give you an option to email it to yourself or if you have your seller's information, it'll send it to them. Let's wait for this. So this is where you can email a copy, but basically you can put in your email and send the report straight over to you. So this is going all the way back to November and it's just going to show you the same information. But it is nice that you can go back in months and the seller reports, they, they have a lot of great information. So those are the three things that you can do for your listings. Go ahead and get started now.